In this Nuage tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to create cue sends for the musicians when you're recording the band. This is what they're going to hear in the headphones. Um, so you can adjust uh, the mix individually for the different players. So uh, Nuendo has four cue sends and they are accessible right on the fader unit um, going to the cue section of the mixer, which we, we have open right here. Now, um, probably the easiest way to do this is to use the faders to adjust the cue levels. And we do that using the flip function here. If I flip the bottom knob, knob number two, to the faders, everything's turned down right now because the cue levels are at zero. Um, if I go ahead and enable the cues up here on the knob set like this, let's take the first eight, and then start turning up the faders, I can create a mix. Of course, we've got the pan controls up top um, as we need them. I hat, tom tom, floor tom, that sort of thing. Um, and we can go through all the channels in the mixer and create a cue mix. That's just for the first cue. Now, if we go to the second cue up here on the section control, if I select the second cue, now the knob set, and in this case, the faders also are controlling the second cue send. And here I can enable those again and create a unique cue mix for Q2. This could be different than the first cue, like that. Okay, so um, using that method, you can go through all four cues and create a unique cue mix for each one of the musicians. However, there are some shortcuts to this. If we go back to the main mix, here I've already set up a basic mix of the band, the elements in the band, uh, for me in the control room. And I can use that as the foundation for a cue mix. In other words, I can copy the mix settings here from the faders and apply them to the cue send in one step. And let me show you how that works. Okay, if you'll take a look up here, I've reset those cue sends back to uh, their default setting all the way off. And here is the rough mix that I have on the channel faders for the band here. I've got the drums, there's the bass, guitar, piano, and the lead vocal. So I have everything sort of set up sounding good for me. And what I'm going to do is use these settings as the basis for the cue sends themselves. This is how you do it. I'm going to select all of the channels that I want to do this for. I have to do that first. Then I'm going to go up here to the control room section. And uh, on Q1, I'm going to right click here. And here you have this little uh, from selected mixer channels sub menu. Okay. So here are my selected channels. Now from these selected mixer channels, I'm going to first enable the Q sense. That's going to turn them on. Now you, you can see here, all of those have been turned on, but the levels aren't really set yet. Well, here one's turned on, but the levels aren't really set yet. So I go back up here to the control room again, right click on the queue. Now use current mix levels. And I'm, I'm going to flip the uh, faders here so you can see how this happens. Right now the faders are the queue levels for Q1. Use current mix levels. Now you can see this mix looks exactly like the normal mix I have, nothing changed. I flip to knob two. Here is the mix going to Q1. Here is the regular mix. They're exactly the same. It only took me a second to do that. The other thing I want you to notice here is that all of these Q sends have now been enabled pre-fader. That means if I change the levels here on the faders, it's not adjusting the levels of the cues up here. It's all pre-fader. Those are going to be independent levels from my mix. So if I go ahead and change the mix uh, for myself, you know, let's say I want to turn down the bass a lot, it's not going to get turned down for the drummer. He's still going to hear the same mix. It's pre-fader. And last, we want to copy the pan settings that I have in the mix. So if I take a look at the pan settings, I've got the hi-hat and the tom-toms panned and the guitar and the piano panned a little bit. So if I want to quickly copy those pan settings, I go back up here to the control room section 
and from selected mixer channels, use the current pan settings. Now, before I do that, let me go to the cues. And you can see the pans are all in the center right now. Once I use this option or select this, now the pans have changed, you can see here, to reflect the mix settings. So if I go through each Q send and follow this procedure, I can quickly take my rough mix and apply it to the Q send very fast. And since it makes everything, all the cues pre-fader, I can then go in and customize. If the lead singer needs some more of the lead singer's microphone, I can turn that up without affecting the other cues. If the drummer needs more kick drum, of course, that's easy to do. And that doesn't affect my mix. So now we all have independent mixes and it's very quick and easy to do. I don't have to set up the entire mix for each cue by hand. I can use these macro functions and get the cues set up quickly. So there you go. That's how to set up QSENS in Nuage and Wendo. And we'll see you in the next tutorial.